Hello and welcome to episode 24 of the Youth Intake Challenge with Dulwich Hamlet. Um, we're not having a particularly great season, so let me catch you up on where we are, what's been going wrong and uh, what we're planning on doing fixing it. So stick around, it should be um, a demoralising but fun episode. And welcome back. So as always, we start with where we are in the league. As you can see, we are nowhere near the top. We've had um, a really lacklustre season so far. Just above the relegation zone in 20th, a point headed Dorking. Um, and that's 20 games into the season. The optimist in me says that we're only 11 points away from the playoffs, so it's not the end of the world. But nearly halfway through the season, it's going to be some turnaround to kind of pick up on that. Uh, FA Cup, we got knocked out by Portsmouth, so we had a pretty good run, really. We got through a few, fair few games, um, hit Portsmouth, who were in League One, and uh, it wasn't even that much uh, that much of a hiding, but I think the better team probably did win on the day. And in terms of the FA Trophy, we're still in it. We've got an away tie at the Linnets to see if we can progress to the next round, so that is the one positive on the, on the horizon is we're still in the FA Trophy, so there is something to play for as the season progresses. Um... Kicking through how the players are getting on. Hams is the top goal scorer, not really much of a surprise. Highest average rating is Bellingham at right back, which is a little bit of a surprise because he's not one of the best players. Joshua Moses, he's emerged on the right-hand wing um, now that Amoako's kind of faded out of the team. So he's he's doing really well, seven assists. Best completion rate, Carl Peterson. The, the thing that surprised me really in terms of the stats is our best player, Spence isn't really on there and um, we managed to keep him for the season but he's not really been setting the world on fire so uh, we'll get into that shortly. In terms of the squad then, it has increased a little bit inside. Some of the players are too old for the under 18s. They've kind of moved up. I mean Alex Moody and Gundis we can probably remove from there now because we've let them go out on loan. And that's the other thing is some of the players that initially we put into the squad haven't been getting the game time they wanted, so we've kind of shipped them out on loan to get them a little bit of um, a little bit of exposure. So Fredericks played a lot of games. Borrowdale not really had a chance yet. Bellingham doing well. Atienda he's had a huge number of uh, performances, and it's not really unexpected because he is our best player. McAvoy's come on leaps and bounds, so he's up to three star current ability. So it's worth dipping in on him and having a look at how he's developed. But again, we did kind of pick him out as being the, the long-term partner for him. And that is that is going really well. So in terms of his progression, he's on an upward curve. He's getting a lot of exposure to the team. And in terms of his all-time development, starting to pick up a little bit more in terms of the mentals, a little bit in the physicals. You can't see it's behind my head. Um, but he's gone three up in strength, two up in stamina, one up in pace. Uh, and not so much in terms of the technical, but overall a pretty handy looking player for this level and I think if we can keep him develop him keep hold of him alongside Atienza that will give us a really good solid base to uh, kind of recover from and build on Lewis Cato he's come in for a few games now six appearances from the start more of a right back type scenario but he's up to one and a half star so he's looking pretty good uh, he can play center half he doesn't tend to but in that kind of right back substitute for Bellingham that's a uh, really good LZ, he's had a few appearances up to 12. He's kind of the standby for McAvoy because he doesn't really have the, the depth at centre half yet. Uh, Branthwaite, who we've kept, he's not had uh, the first team exposure as, as much as maybe we want long term. Cocking, still the number one first choice there at three star, gusting up to four star potential. Branthwaite, not far behind, two and a half star, but he's got a little bit more potential threshold. So we'll continue to try and integrate him. Russell not had too much, Curran not had too much. Peterson played a huge bulk of games. Um, he's leaving on a free transfer at the end of the season, which is disappointing. That's one of the probably big, big news pieces. Is he wants he wants to go, and there's not a lot we can do to stop him. Um, that is the problem with being uh, the part-time club and not being able to tie him down on long-term contracts. So it's disappointing, but we'll have to deal with it. Luke Haller, he's come in. He's an up-and-coming centre midfielder. Might have to be a long-term replacement within that midfield area. Wadrago is still with us. He's up to three-star current ability. Again, very technical type-based player. He's more of the creative role, up, for, up a kind of advanced role if we can. But the formation we're playing doesn't always always let him get into the positions he wants to be. But again, really good player. Spencer's been reintroduced into the squad. He's getting more appearances. Moses, as we said, 
yeah, he's come on leaps and bounds in terms of uh, his creativity and his performances. Probably one of the highlights so far this season now that Amoako has moved on. And at 18, he's got a lot of room to grow, so we'll keep an eye on him long term. Uh, Stefan Williams not had the exposure we wanted. Same with David Dumbaya. We've not really been able to play with the advanced midfielder like we t spoke about at the start of the season. More because the results just haven't gone our way, but Stefan Williams really good player probably gonna have to play more centrally than in the advanced role david dumbai we're gonna let go out on loan for the rest of the season to let him develop a little bit more um into dean spence he played a huge number of games standout best player by a far but we need to find a way of making him the focal point for everything because he's not getting the exposure or breaking teams down the way he did in his, his kind of breakout season dimitri addis Again, not so many games out on the left-hand side. He gets more games kind of playing in that central midfield role. And that's just because he's got Gilder out on the left. However, Dimitri Addis might actually start to break through and make that his own position. Gilder, who's been here since the start, he's peaked now. He's at a three-star. That's his kind of limit. He doesn't seem to be going any much further past there. He's still really good in terms of mental ability. What we might need to do is find a way of using him a little bit more on either that central creative pivot and, and get him off the wing and get Dimitri Addis on there but again that's something for me to look at uh, and then Lamar Ham he's 20 games 9 goals not too bad Powell's had 1 game 1 goal but Hams is the is the conundrum because he, he's played a huge number of games now he's not maybe not gone the way I want him to in terms of his progress curve. I mean again you see him having a dip he's not despite playing nearly every game he's just not increasing in the way we want him to and when we look at his progress long term, yes, he's got a lot of mental changes. Yes, he's got a few bit in terms of strength and stamina, but he's not he's not banging in the goals like we want them to. So that's kind of the squad tactics wise. We've gone back to a ball winning midfielder to try and stem the tide and get some results going our way. Um, I'll show you in the results in the schedule. It's not as bad as as the table perhaps looks. It's just that fine margin between um, winning and drawing. But yeah, the formation largely the same. I do keep playing about with the rules to try and get the most out of Dean Spence when he's in there, but I'm, I'm finding it increasingly more difficult. Staff-wise, um, yeah, we've got them all filled. I think we did have one leave and we brought one in, so that's good. Dynamics, um, for the first time in a long time, we don't have anyone who's really upset and grumpy, which is good. Everyone is still really positive despite us being lower in the table. Um, uh, but from the preseason prediction, it's not unsurprising we're down there. Uh, training wise with part time we're not looking at too much schedule this is where it's a bit of a horror show um, lots of defeats in there splattered between a lot of draws and when you see a 3-3 at Boston normally we'd have been able to win that game getting three goals but we've been conceding a lot when we were playing a more advanced kind of formation uh, recently uh, I suppose November we had a really good month I mean four draws three wins in there I know there's a cup game in there um, but that was kind of where we picked up a few points to kind of get us a little, just keep our noses above above the water. You can see there the Portsmouth game, 4-2, FA Cup second round replay. We got a draw in the first leg, we got it to a replay, um, but we weren't able to take it through to the next round. An FA Trophy, we beat Bath City. But in terms of the league performances, when you look at the table, I think what stands out for me is that 10 draws. Um, if we'd have got six or seven and we'd have bumped up, we'd have been quite comfortably in the mid-table phase. What we need to do is just work out on um, seeing the games out, getting the, the wins over the line and stop conceding late goals and, and drawing games. So that's what the, the plan is. Uh, we've seen the competitions. Medically, we're not too bad. There are a couple of injuries, but nothing major. Um, in terms of transfers, uh, in none, obviously, out in the history. We've let a lot of players go. We're still trying to thin the, the club down a little bit. You can see... Amoako, who we'd had for a number of years, we finally uh, managed to get him out the door on a free transfer. Again, lots of loans going out there, but some of the free free transfers we've let go who aren't really going to get into that first team integration, we've let go just to continually drive the squad down. Um, and that's all part of the uh, the financial package, really, is to, to get the wages down as low as possible, keep growing as, as much as we can. And coming back to the, the vision and the board, I keep requesting professional status. They keep denying it. Um, I will keep pushing and pushing and pushing until we get back to being a professional club because I think that's the that's the element that's going to start driving us back up the table again. So 
Um, squad wise, big first team uh, when we start integrating the under 18 squad. It's equally as big. I still need to keep refining some of these out. We obviously want to keep the best ones, um, but we'll see where we go. In terms of the preview, then, that's what everyone wants to kind of see. Um, it says it's an excellent youth intake, however, we're all C's, D's, and E's. Uh, what I'm quite keen to see is this three centre halves in there because Atienza and McAvoy are really good, but we need some depth in that area. Um, so a centre back would be really good. A couple midfielders, if we're going to lose Peterson, I would imagine we might well lose Dean Spence as well. I might have to start looking at selling some of them for a fee. Uh, no strikers coming through, so Hams is going to have to just find a way of getting better. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll look forward to seeing what that looks like when it comes through. Um, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Excellent intake mixed with a um, C as, as a maximum. I'll, I'll be interested to see what comes through because the last one was quite underwhelming. The intake before was exceptional, um, but we'll just uh, wait and see for that. So hopefully that serves as some kind of an update where we are. Uh, the challenge is still going. I've not been sacked yet. Um, we've not had any disgruntlement from the board. We are progressing. We just need some results to go in our favour. So hopefully next time when I come back to you with the youth intake towards the end of the season, we'll have a lot more positive news and we'll be in a much better position. But until then, take care, enjoy your weekends, uh, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.